In the early months of 2375, the Dominion War was at its most violent, with battles raging across the quadrant almost incessantly. The Dominion's entrenched supply lines and famed ability to construct ships at high speed allowed them to maintain a level of pressure on the Federation Alliance that prevented them from staging a serious counter-attack. It was General Martok of the Imperial Klingon Defense Force that finally proposed a solution to this problem. The General assembled a small but nimble force of five Brel-class birds of prey at the Federation Starbase Deep Space Nine. These vessels and their volunteer crews were considered entirely expendable, and the high probability of loss even inspired Martok to leave his usual flagship, the IKS Rotaran, in dry dock, instead taking temporary command of the IKS Chitang. Martok planned a sequence of rapid attacks on Dominion installations across the sector, none of which were intended to actually destroy the facilities, but rather to interrupt their normal functions and force them to undertake months of repair, creating vital breathing room for the Federation Alliance. The Federation starship Defiant was placed at the head of a seven-ship flotilla and stationed at a rendezvous point in the Calandra sector. This would allow the Klingon raiding force to lead any hostile craft into the Federation's line of fire should they fall under pursuit. The most important target selected by Martok was a planet-side starbase on Trelka 5. Upon entering the Trelka system, Martok dispatched the warships Malpara and Ning Tao ahead of the squadron to perform a single strafing run against the base and then retreat while keeping the rest of his forces under cloak. The purpose of this move was to deceive the Dominion garrison into believing the attack was over, prompting them to lower their alert condition and deploy their damage control teams. The Malpara and Ning Tao successfully destroyed two defense towers in dive bombing attacks before withdrawing as planned. During their escape, they fell under attack by a Cardassian Galore class destroyer, and the Malpara was lost with all hands. As the Cardassians continued to pursue the Ning Tao, they left their ground facilities undefended, and the base deployed its repair crews exactly as Martok had predicted. Decloaking the rest of his forces, Martok was able to wipe out the vulnerable repair crews and inflict major damage on the Starbase facility. During the final strafing run, General Martok was briefly incapacitated, and command fell to the legendary Daha Master, Kor, who had requested commission aboard the Chitang. In the confusion, Kor deviated from Martok's strategy by continuing the attack long after the planned withdrawal. This decision led to heavy losses aboard the IKS Arantho, including their captain and first officer, as well as causing serious damage to the rest of the Klingon fleet. Eventually, Kor was removed from command and the retreat order was given, allowing the four surviving birds of prey to re-engage their cloaking devices and escape. After assessing their losses and damage, Martok elected to move his fleet to the Federation rendezvous point to consolidate and recover before moving to the next target. But after a few hours of travel at Warp Factor 7, the Chitang detected a force of 10 Jem'Hadar attack ships that had used some manner of advanced sensor system to locate the fleeing Klingon vessels in spite of their cloaking devices. Slowed by engine damage to their ships, the Klingon force was unable to outrun their pursuers and estimated that the Dominion fleet would catch up to them in less than two hours, one hour and 45 minutes before they could reach the Defiant and its support ships. Faced with no alternative, Martok's first officer, Worf, proposed a self-sacrificial plan to delay the enemy fleet and allow the Klingon vessels to escape. He offered to take command of six volunteers aboard the IKS Ning Tao, the least damaged of the remaining birds of prey, and to break formation with the intention of engaging the enemy fleet long enough for the rest of the Klingon squadron to reach their Federation allies. On his way to take command of the Ning Tao, Worf was ambushed and knocked unconscious by Kor, who had decided to redeem him himself for his actions at Trelka 5 by leading the doomed mission in Worf's place. Decloaking and dropping out of formation, Kor and the Ning Tao closed on the Dominion fleet. Upon reaching weapons range, they engaged an inverse graviton pulse that forced the Jem'Hadar ships to reset their drive units before they could resume pursuit. The pulse was followed up by a full spread of torpedoes from the Ning Tao that confused the sensors of the Dominion vessels and threw them off balance for the opening moments of the attack. Shortly afterward, all telemetry from the battle was lost, but the final reports suggested the Jem'Hadar formation had collapsed, and the crippled Ning Tao continued to hold the enemy fleet in their tracks. 
Ten minutes later, the Chitang sensors confirmed the Dominion fleet was no longer able to catch the three remaining birds of prey before they reached the rendezvous point. Though the specific details of Kor's sacrifice could never be learned, there was no doubt that his actions had saved the fleet and the lives of every warrior aboard the Chitang, Arantho, and Sleevin. And as the remains of Martok's fleet reached the safety of the rendezvous point, the bridge crew of the Chitang drank a toast in honor of the fallen Daha master. Thank you for watching. Use the link below to follow us at our Twitch page where we'll be streaming Star Wars The Old Republic starting 8pm BST tomorrow. That's September 16th.